Okay, we're going to try to troubleshoot a Thermolec boiler. Four elements. First of all, I'm suspecting a bad relay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my meter, put it on AC, and we're just going to check what we've got coming in and out of the breaker. So we're at 240 on that one. 240 on that one. So that's good. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to check all these four relays. Each relay goes to a particular element. So first we want to know if we have DC voltage on. Obviously we want to make sure that the thermostat's calling for um, calling for heat and the pumps are running. Okay, so we're going to go DC voltage because the bottom A2 and A1, if you can see on there, that's DC voltage going in. These are solid state relays. So let's check. You'll see a negative and positive. Let's check if we have DC voltage going to all these. See that one? 27 volts. Twenty seven volts. Twenty seven volts. Twenty seven volts. Okay, so we've pretty much eliminated anything before the uh, the relay, uh, all the uh, the board is working, it's lit up and everything. So now we're going to check what's coming out. So we're going to have to switch to AC power. And let's check what we've got on all these relays. Okay, we've got one volt on this one. One volt on this one. Two forty-three on this one. Two forty-three on this one. This is where it's kind of confusing. To me, the ones on the top here that showed two hundred and forty-three volts would be good, and the one volt would be bad. But it's actually the opposite. When these solid-state relays, when the coil pack goes, it actually.